I just built an AI tool that personalizes your cold emails at mass scale and I'm giving it away for absolutely free. Without any further ado, let's get into the screen. Now, before I show you how to build this tool, let me show you a quick demo of how this tool works. So basically, this is a database of our clients. And if you want to scrape your own data, here's a video that you can completely watch. And here we have the personal LinkedIn and website. Typically, what we'll be doing is we'll be getting into their website and we'll be writing first lines, which is uh, going to be added right next to their name, meaning the email will read, Hi, Jayant. I went through your website and I really love blank and then my offer and then a PS line. PS, I also checked that you did this. Let me know if you can talk like that, right? And I try to keep the PS line a little bit funny. So there are two points of personalization in every email. So this is the tool. Let me just run it once and show you a quick demo and see how each of these, uh, you know, lines start shaping up. Right, the first one, keeping event safe worldwide scenario, that's a commitment. P.S. Saw your transcript. Did you major in making competitors jealous? <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, turning weight loss into a lifestyle, not just a diet. Inspiring. P.S. If your words were a font, there'd be times new Roman, classic, reliable, and always on point. I mean, that's, I don't know <laughs> how it came up with that, but it creates like P.S. lines. Obviously, we can fine tune this model. First things first, you need this scenario. Now, you don't need to build this entire thing yourself. All you need to do is go to the description of my video and click on this link. And once you're in this link, just type in your first name and email address and you'll come to a document that looks something like this, right? It has all my AI tutorials, all my best AI tutorials that you can follow to create your own AI models, your prompts, everything. And in this AI automation blueprint, the ninth one, you can, if you click on this link, you'll find all the AI automations that are built inside Make. So right now we need the cold email personalizer. So click on this button and download this for yourself and simply log into make.com. Now, if you don't know it already, make.com is a absolutely free tool. It also has a lot of paid plans, uh, which is like barely $10. So it's a great tool to have to build such automations, right? So I'll just log into my own make account and I'll show you how to build this whole scenario. All you need to do is click on create scenario. And here you just click on this more button and import, oops, sorry, not export, rather import blueprint. And from here, go ahead and select the cold email personalizer that you just downloaded and hit save. Now it would import everything that I have built for you, right? Now in the Google Sheets, here it has already selected everything that we need. You may not see the exact same data points. So all you need to do is if you click on add, you can add your own Google account, right? And search method, select from a drive, spreadsheet ID, if you can't find it, just have your list ready like this and add like two columns. One is first line, one is PS line. I'll remove these and then, and rest of the thing remains pretty much the same. Now tools, you don't want to touch it. It's just method variable to just keep it at that. Now HTTP, make a request. And here in the web's URL section, make sure that you select the website. For example, in the Google sheet, we have something called as website. Right now it is not eligible to scrape LinkedIn but I'm creating a tool which can scrape LinkedIn as well. Right, so let's get into, let's search for website. There you go. Right, it will get the website and will then pass on and basically scrape it, honestly, right? Now this data will be passed through text parser and here inside HTTP, you just need to select the data. Select, if you don't see that, then just run this module once from Google Sheet to HTTPS and then that number would automatically appear. Then we have router, do not touch this at all. The first one is called the first line. You might need the prompts for this and the prompts for this is available in the same Google Doc itself. And it, it will be probably called 10, it'll probably be in the 10th column somewhere, right? Now make sure that these settings are exactly how they seem here. GPT-4, you can use preview. I personally don't use this one anymore. I'm using the latest one, the turbo one. So this is really awesome. Uh, I mean, this is the one I think, yeah. Role developer and there is a whole context. Who is this? What is this AI doing? And then I have some guidelines 
on to as to like how do you write that first line right i would say go through the text of the the formation of the website here and then i would say create a personalized line that's it pretty much right you can also use this i mean anything works honestly uh i added like message three user transcript this this also works for you so you can and it's important that the substring uh you add forty thousand maximum so apparently uh whenever i've gone beyond forty thousand, it has uh like thrown an error right so i'll save it and here in google sheet it says update a row make sure that you select the exact column that you need to update for example uh row number two and first line that's what we need to update first right so here you basically select the whole demo list spreadsheet name is leads and if you can't find demo list again thing is just search for demo and it will search for the demo list again for you right and if you have your own list search for the name of that particular list and it will get the job done for you right row number here basically how do you select the row number remove this go back here just search for row number basically you'll find that there you go now here we want to update the first line so here what you need to select is basically go to choices so below this first line thing choices message content sorry content that's it that's all you need to add save it same thing in ps i've already this is the same replica replica of the first line i would also add like go through the website and create a ps line here's the content uh now it doesn't matter i've already added it below but just in case it forgets sometimes i'm seeing that it has a habit of you know forgetting things in the html right and then you pass it on to google sheets we want to update the ps line of the section which is row number two and this right so same thing we update the ps line again under this ps section choices message content that's all you need to do save it there you go it is pretty much ready now we can try and run this once to see how this functions right and let's wait all right we have generated some content impressed by your 32 plus years of providing medical event support safety with experience ps with medical support this rock solid who needs a health potion event lifesavers <laughs> that's the good ps line there you go this is really lovely now it's a simple cold email ai ecosystem that you can build for yourself give it to your clients you can use this to mass personalize your emails at scale and well you can like land more clients now if that was helpful comment below what other ai automations that you want me to create for you if you want to learn ai as well what are the aspects of ai you want to learn drop it in the comment and i'll surely create a video on this thank you very much for watching and like share subscribe do whatever right thank you very much